Hello and welcome. I'm Sophie Boisa Giraudet. We're at Wise Media's Third America Summit and I have the pleasure of speaking to the Honorable Suvi Linden, Finland's former Minister of Communication. Uh, Ms. Linden has also been Minister of uh, Culture and uh, she's now with the United Nations Broadband Commission. Um, I'd be interested in hearing how the deployment of broadband is supporting fight against crime uh, today. Uh, when there are when there are broadband networks, of course, that brings possibilities to provide provide broadband access and and, and, and access for mobile phones. And there are a lot of evidence how what can be done fighting against crime using the the technology and mobile phones. So I think the the deployment is the accessibility is the most important thing, but that provides a lot of possibilities for. Uh, fight against crimes. Um, would you think that law enforcement is supported in their day-to-day -day actions, having access to watch lists or criminal records more conveniently and efficiently? Of course, when it's just a simple example, when police stop a car and check the, the driving license, and nowadays you can have all kind of technologies, you can get the instant access to to database to see whether this car is stolen or this driver is the is is a criminal person so this way i think that uh, it brings a lot of possibilities to 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 prevent crimes and and solve them and uh, what about urban security uh, in the sense of trying to keep uh, urban violence under control is the deployment of broadband uh, facilitating the work of uh, reaching out to the population? Of course, it's, uh, it's, there are negative and positive sides. Of course, it, it, it really can provide security for people when you, have, um, you can have instant um, uh, surveillance with the cameras and, 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 and especially when you think the elderly people in, in big cities nowadays you might not have any relatives, but then you can be using technology to, to have the feeling of, of security being at home. But at the same time, not all people like the idea of, of Big Brother watching you out. So I think that you kind of need to have the balance, and I hope that the uh, technology is used for, for positive effects and, and, and a lot of can be done in, in the cities for security using, using mobile technology. We've heard today that uh, women living in Latin America uh, face twice the risk of uh, being the victims of sexual attacks if they live in cities. Um, we heard that uh, the United Nations are promoting a project of bringing um, LAN cafes, internet cafes into the territory in order to make it possible for women who are not um, uh, in possession of a computer to, to have a dialogue with the institutions, access information about how to, uh, how to be treated as survivors of an attack or how to, how to act uh, in, the, in the case of uh, threats and of, uh, of risks. Um, is this something that is going to be promoted also in the other continents and especially in emerging countries? I think this, uh, this study case, what has been done here in, in Brazil, has been very, very good out, outcome of it. And, and for sure, when there are best practices, they want to be taken in use other countries also. And I think that um, crimes against women are, are, are in developing countries especially a big uh, challenge, but the, the mobile phones and mobile technology provides possibilities to get help, but also uh, to prevent the, the, these kind of things happening. And especially, I think it's for these women, it, it gives a possibility to, quite too often these kind of crimes are um, not reported. But I think getting more information and getting these tools to have the, the instant uh, call to, for police and for help provides the possibility to women get more help and, and, and uh, uh, feeling of more security also. So we heard that there is a pilot also taking place in New Delhi with this project, so also in other continents. 
And uh, particularly in India, we think that there is a lot to be done for the uh, equality of uh, women to be promoted. So how can broadband support the equal treatment of women within society? Um, there, there are a lot of challenges because we have a studies that show that that it's usually men who owns in the family the mobile phone and and still giving the mob mobile phone for women provides more results in economic wise for the family or household than men having this mobile phone so I think that uh, sooner or later it will happen so that also women have access to, to mobile phones and, and that provides better better possibilities for them to take care of the, the, the families, provide provide uh, income income for the family. And also I think uh, digital divide can be a big challenge. I wouldn't like to say problem challenge, but um, helping women to to uh, first of all get the, the skills using mobile phones, using computers. That's something that community should be involved with. Um, and, and then I think that when women are empower, empowered, then um, at the end it provides a lot of good for, for the society. Well, thank you very much and uh, we wish you all the best in your endeavors, uh, Ms. Linden. Thank you and regards from Rio.